to church, not of this faith. And thank God for them too, because it was a shadow of good things to come. So in due time, God did bring me in. Ah, and today I can rejoice. And as I say, thank God again for oh, pastor. I remember um, Bishop Thomas, that day I know that he, he well acquainted with one of the whole school. Praise God. And while I was under his tutoring, years did come upon him. And, and he was not able to stand in the pulpit as he generally used to do. And he was a big man. He wasn't any little small man. He was a big, heavy man. And he sat on his chair and he used one of his legs and he made the music. Oh, glory to God. So that service was not a dead one <coughs> because though we didn't have no piano and so many musical instruments, but I tell you, to the power of the Holy Ghost, the music was great because as he keeps standing his foot, and the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, burning the souls of mankind. We couldn't keep our, feet, our, our seat. We had to get up and glorify God. Oh, hallelujah, because the fire of God was burning. Ah, hallelujah. And the same God yonder day is the same God today. Brethren, let us keep on the fire. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And you know, I just want to say a little bit on this lesson, what the Lord will allow me to say. Praise God. We know that this was Brother Paul. And as we are in the Acts of the Apostles, Acts of the Apostles, or in other words, action. Ah, glory to God. That's one thing I love about the apostles. They were in action for God. Whatever it takes, they were in action. Oh, God, my Savior. Sometimes we hear more words. Ah, but the letter kill it. The Spirit gave it life. Praise God. They were in action. And as they were in action, Praise God that these were written that we could be straightened along the path. That all that we are going through, it's not strange. For we have got them that gone on before. And we magnify the name of Jesus. Thank God, thank God, thank God. We see our brother Paul here. And as we know who he was before he became Paul, he was Saul of Tash. And we read, and we know, we hear the story how God stopped him on the Damascus Road when he was about on his way to destroy God's children. But one thing about Paul, he was ignorant in what he was doing, but he was very sincere. And I love these letters that has been written by him and the very and the many actions that has been made manifest when God saved his soul. This I truly know that it's only God can make clean out of unclean. It's only God can bring about something of that blessing. Ah, glory. Heard Paul say he was the least less than least of all the apostles. But in due time, God brought him out and has worked miraculous in him. Oh, glory. At this time, we see here that he was on a journey. Praise God. But we want to think a little bit about Paul in some of his writing. It was, if you touch Paul, you can think about some athletes. He is always speaking sometimes about the runner, running the race. And how you must run it. If we run it, that we must win. 
Don't run it just because you're running a race. Run it with the expectation to win. And then you take him in another subject, he's going to tell you about war. Fight the good fight of faith as you lay hold on eternal life. Tell you about your weapon. Ah, hallelujah. It's not carnal. Hello, Messiah. Ah, but it's strong and powerful in God to break down and to remove every sinful imagination. You take him again about the ring. He tell you about wrestling. Ah, and that is something close up. How you have to fight with the enemy at times. Ah, these are many things. He'll tell you about the soldier. How to be a good soldier. Not any kind of soldier. Good soldier. Ah, glory to God. And all these awakening things. It seems to me that he knew about all these things. He must have had some experience. Brethren, all these are in our Christian pathway. Ah, glory to God. At this time, at this time, at this time. He made known to the, the, the kings, king, and those that were in great position, his testimony. He told them of his conversion and how God spoke to him on the Damascus road. How he saw the light that will shine every other light. Ah, glory to God. He didn't hide it. You know, when God did his pen of love within our hearts, sometimes we say we wouldn't tell it to a living soul. But when the fire burn with it, we have no choice. We have to make it known unto others. And here, when he make his testimony known to King Agrippa, praise God and, and, and praise God, we know King Agrippa and Festus. You know, they were great men. But when he made his testimony known unto them, we read where they didn't even want to hear it anymore. One of them said to him, Paul, thou art beside thyself. Too much learning makes thee mad. But I tell you, when God put that fire in your heart, ah, you just have to make it known. Praise the Lord. And then, when the Jews would have destroyed him, he decided to appeal to Caesar. So at this time, he had to make this journey according to chapter 27 and from verse 14. He said, but, but not long after this arose against it a tempestuous wind called Europe done. You know, they were on this ship. They were on the ship on the sea going to Rome because he made his appeal to Caesar. And to prevent the Jews killing him in secret, he made this appeal. Not because he had anything against the Jews. He didn't have anything against his own nation. But they decided to kill him for what they want to kill him for. And so he made his appeal. And now on this journey, storm at sea. You know, and I look through this lesson, I know I'm not able to expand it or to expose it as it is, but it's better felt than told. Oh Lord, my God. If they were on this ship, and this, this, this voyage was a very rough one, but God was with his servant. You know, I'll go anywhere if Jesus go with me. And Paul, for the name of the Lord, made up his mind to take the journey because he had no choice. He had to go through. Praise God. And this voyage was very rough. And verse 18 of this of, of, of 27 chapter, I said, And we being exceedingly tossed with a tempest, the next day they lightened the ship. You know, it was so the, the, the wind was blowing, and the, the, the journey was so disastrous yeah. that they had to lighten the ship yeah, yeah. to make it, trying to make the journey safe. Yeah. But even then, the storm at sea was so great. Paul, being a man of God, yeah. hallelujah, he gave them counsel yeah. that they should 
remain at Crete, at little island, to prevent them being tossing on the sea and to prevent life being lost. You know, when I look into this lesson, I realize that we as God's children, as Paul in one of his writings, he said, we are ambassadors for God. As God has beseeched you through us, we beseech you that he reconcile to God. But you know who is an ambassador? One that seek the good of the country from whence he came. Now, we as God's children, we are just pilgrims and sojourners. We are passing through this world. From the day God called us out of the world, we can say like the songwriter, this world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. Oh, hallelujah. But as ambassador for Christ, we seek the good of the kingdom for which we belong. Ah, yeah. oh, hallelujah. And the beauty about it is this. Because we are ambassador for Christ, we are sure that help will come from home. You know, if an ambassador is sent out to Jamaica, or whatever country from this country, it doesn't matter what famine happened out in that country. That ambassador is all right. Yes. But you know what happened? Help is coming from home. Yes. Oh, glory yes. to God. Help is coming from home. Yes. And we as God's children, yes. we expect help from home. Yes. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. I'm on a vacation. Paul was in prison. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, glory to God. He was there and they sing praises unto God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. They pray and they glorify God because they know the God in whom they trust. Help was coming from home. Wrong. And when God sent the earthquake, it loosed everything that found them. Right. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. And even the jailer. My God, who's supposed to keep them in stock? My Lord, when God lose their pants. Ah, the jailer himself was afraid. Ah, and thought they were all run away. But Paul cried out, do not say no harm. We are all here. He could have told him another yes, word. Yes, yes. God has sent us help from home. Yes. Rejoice. Hallelujah. When Paul see the condition of the ship upon the sea and how dangerous it was, oh my God, Paul was the only one, though he was the prisoner, though he was the prisoner, but not the prisoner of man, he was the prisoner of the Lord Jesus Christ. And because God was with him, in verse 22 he said, and you know, I exhort you to be of good cheer. Yes. For there shall be no loss of I any man's life right. among you, but of the ship. Yes. For there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am and who I serve. Brethren, he's a strong man. Yes. 